this amazing desert recipe is one of the offering that is offered to Lord Jagannath in the Dham of Puri and it's neither rasgulla nor gulab jamun it's just deep fried cottage cheese patties soaked in a nice flavorful thickened reduced milk try this recipe it's locally known as rasa bali and as i said it is one of the offerings of lord jagannath in the chappan bhog 56 items that are served to the almighty so next time try this recipe very easy recipe and you will love the taste typical and authentic recipe of rasa bali hey guys i am subhankari and i welcome you all to my channel so's food corner english and i hope you all are doing great in your lives if you are new to my page do subscribe to my page and do not forget to tap the bell button thank you for loving my channel so much and liking my video so much let's begin with this awesome desert recipe so first we are gonna to make the condensed or the reduced milk for that i'll take in a nice th thick pan one liter milk i have added to this pan wait till it starts to boil and then i'll reduce the flame to lowest and let it simmer and low flame for around half an hour and in the next step i'll be using another one kadai or a thick bottom pan and to it i'll add milk 1.5 liters full fat milk and i'll be preparing cottage cheese or chena out of it so i'll wait till this milk starts to boil as in this recipe there are two parts first is the making the cottage cheese pancake deep fried pancake and the second one is the condensed milk or rabdi what we normally call so two different vessels i have used so once this milk starts to boil i'll reduce the flame to lowest and then i'll add vinegar or lemon juice to cuddle this milk so for 1.5 liters of full fat milk i have taken here three to four tablespoon of lemon juice and equal quantity of water i have mixed and this i'll add simultaneously stirring this milk and eventually this milk will cuddle in medium flame i have kept the milk and you can see the water is clear this is how cottage cheese or chena is made if the milk isn't curdling you can add little bit more amount of lemon juice or vinegar mine it was perfect and now to strain this i have used a cheese cloth and a strainer because i need to store this cheese water around 2 to 3 tablespoon i'll be needing so here i have strained this cheese nicely and i'll squish it this cheese cloth with this cheese you can see it's nice and hot now so very carefully i'll just squish it and discard this water 3 to 4 tablespoon water i'll keep it and again this water can be reused to cuddle in future the and if you want to cuddle cheese and i need to wash this cheese for 3 to 4 times in nice cold running water so that the extract of vinegar or lemon juice if any will be washed out and it's done here i have nicely washed it and now i'll just squish this cheese so that extra water excess water can drain out but make sure you do not squeeze it dry little bit amount of moisture should be there in this cheese i'll show you and i had just hung this cloth for around 10 minutes till this cheese is nicely stable and i can touch it it comes to room temperature and after 10 minutes i have transferred it to a nice round plate and now i'll be kneading this paneer nicely using my palm portion bottom part of my palm and i'll apply pressure and make sure you do this process from down to up so that eventually all the paneer or the cottage cheese will be nicely mashed away in this process basically we want this to be soft it will come to a consistency of a dough it will take around five to six minutes for one batch of paneer and this is super soft now you can see it's almost soft and it's also non-sticky so this is it and add powdered around half cup of sugar with six to seven green cardamom that powdered sugar i'll be using so two tablespoon of whole wheat flour and two tablespoon of the powdered sugar with cardamom that i had already prepared and to this i'll be adding fine semolina one tablespoon if you do not have the fine semolina you can grind the regular one and here's the trick that's two to three tablespoon of the cheese water that we had kept so this i'll add in batches maybe i'll require one tablespoon or two tablespoon basic need is that this dough consistency should be little bit soft because we are adding whole wheat flour atta and semolina so we need some water or moisture to make it soft now again mix it nicely and i have almost used two to three tablespoon of cheese water and now it's time to make balls out of it small balls apply some ghee on this plate and now i'll take one handful of mixture and very nicely i'll squish small balls in this way you can see so that this can be lighter 
used to deep fry it. so i'll just make this and i'll keep them aside so that when we start frying it will be easier to make the pancake and dip it in the oil and so it's in this way it's done and here i'll first check the oil temperature it should be medium hot with small little bit uh, amount of dough had added and it comes up beautifully it is not scattering that means our consistency of the dough is perfect so take it out so now i'll also check the milk that we had kept on low temperature and this is what it is looking like after 15 to 20 minutes the color has slightly changed it has obviously thickened and to this i'll be adding the remaining powdered sugar that i had powdered so half cup sugar i had powdered with seven to eight green cardamom two tablespoon i had used for making the chena or making the dough rest i'll be using here again it depends upon taste of your sweetness so for me it was perfect now again give it a stir and again i'll keep it for more 10 minutes meanwhile i'll be frying my chena balls so it's ready keep it on low flame and now the oil is ready I'll apply ghee on my palms and using one dough ball I'll place it in between my palms and bottom part of my palm I'll use to press it gently and very nicely it will slide out in this way and this goes in the oil that we had already checked in one by one I'll be adding and on medium flame I'll be adding as I said I'd already checked the temperature of the oil gradually it will come up if the oil is too hot it will come up immediately it will and there will be a drastic change of color so it's very important the oil should be medium heated and i'll add around six to seven pancakes so that they are not overcrowded in this kadhai now you can increase the frame just little bit so that it will puff beautifully and once it has puffed i'll just flip it over you can see it has nicely puffed up and now it's time to flip this beautiful deep fried cottage cheese pancakes so here i'll flip them and i just want the golden color on both sides it will take hardly three to four minutes so this is done and this is the base of our rasabali this tastes very nice once dipped in the thickened milk and it's done beautifully and this goes in the thickened milk which is already on low flame the milk should be warm so once i've added it now wait for two to three minutes just simmer this milk on low flame for two to three minutes and then you can switch off the flame and leave it for one hour and after one hour this is what it looks like the thickened milk has got a beautiful caramelized color and this fried chena is super soft because we had added this when the condensed milk or the thickened milk was warm so it has absorbed all the goodness of this thickened milk and as i am serving you can see the consistency it's super soft filled with this milk flavored milk and i have arranged it and now you can i have added some thickened milk that's the secret to this delicious recipe some silver foil i'm adding it's completely optional and some pistachios and almonds so now let's see how this has actually turned out so here i have taken one piece and i'll cut it the way i am cutting it you can see how soft it is filled with this delicious milk flavored milk it has created a beautiful pocket and it is filled with milk delicious soft once you make this dessert you can know how soft it is and here it's perfectly done and as i said it's one of the typical and native to the state of orissa served as one of the prasad in the chappan bhog or 56 items that are served to the almighty in the puri dham and for the satyatra this is the dish you should be looking for and this is one of the most authentic recipe and i have shared many tips and tricks to make the perfect rasabali so try it once you will love the flavors of this authentic recipe now it's time for the comment of the day today's comment is from swagatika sahu she writes your all recipes are amazing please share chicken bharta recipe in your style i love the way you cook thank you so much swagatika sure this recipe is on my to be done list stay tuned to my channel and thank you so much for your lovely words and as for today's video do try this delicious authentic recipe from the state of orissa and one of the favorites of lord jagannath of puri dham and let me know how it turned out you can also follow us food for english on instagram and facebook and if you have liked today's video do give a thumbs up share with your family and friends and do not forget to subscribe to my page see you in next video till then stay safe love life and happy fooding